My name is Nazia and I'm a teacher at Kiev Christian Academy. It's a missionary school um, and uh, we have teachers from all over the world. Uh, we, we are not going to leave the country at um, last week, so, um, but we had to help our fellow teacher to get to the border. And well, you, you didn't want to leave Kiev? No, um, Cape is my home city and I felt safe. It was rather safe in the beginning. Um, no shelling, um, nothing, just um, we heard r rumors about the war and the war started somewhere, but it wasn't our place. So um, we really didn't want to leave, but we needed to help another teacher. So we had to take her to the border and it was a decision of helping another person, not us leaving the country. And then uh, when um, I watched the videos on YouTube of Russian tanks moving to Ukraine, I understood that at some point it would be too late. So we grabbed our things and uh, it was an instant decision, okay, it's time, either now or, or we would be late. And it was the right decision because when we, um, it was a huge, one thing, it was a huge traffic jam of people leaving the city. Then on our way, Google Maps uh, showed us a different direction and we didn't know the road. We had never traveled before in that direction. So we just followed Google Maps and the road was terrible. Though Google said that we could save two hours, it was terrible. We couldn't move uh, faster than 30 hours per kilometer. 30 kilometers per hour, an hour, hour. right. So um, and the road was bam bumpy, um, just not absolutely an absolutely bad road. Was it even paved? Um, I can I cannot tell. I think no, <laughs> because it was a village road. Mm -hmm. But as soon as we turned there, I got a message from my friend that the bridge which we had to cross was mm -hmm. ruined, was destroyed. So in fact, Google showed us the right way, and um, it was kind of. If we probably knew the route and wanted to choose a good road, we wouldn't make it. So uh, it took us around 16 hours to get to Lviv. Usually it takes 8, 10 hours. And then when we got to the, that city, um, another teacher rented an apartment and we had to stay in that apartment. But we couldn't get into the building. We checked all the hotels around. Um, and there was no place to stay even for several hours. But finally we got into the building um, and we slept for four or five hours, had some rest, and then we continued our way to the border. So um, we rested for some time and then we had to make another difficult decision to go to the border or to stay in Lviv for a couple of days again at some at some point you feel safe and you don't want to move um, but um, we had to take our teacher to the border and help her to cross the border that's why we decided that we would um, drive further further and it was a very difficult decision i didn't want i mean completely didn't want to go but feeling it's like if you don't go then your fellow teacher stays in ukraine and it's very dangerous or if you go you're leaving your country you're leaving your your home uh, no your home but you're leaving the place where you could help uh -huh. right because my understanding is if I am a grown-up person, I shouldn't leave the country, so... Right. Mm -hmm. You wanted to stay and help people, mm -hmm. yes. Um, but so. you decided to go to the border to help your fellow teacher, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you... Uh, and uh, what so we when you got to the border? to the border somewhere at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. or 5 p.m., I don't remember right now, uh, and... 
uh, we uh, got into the line of cars. The line was extremely long and uh, from 5 p.m. to 7 a.m. we crossed somewhere 100 meters. So uh, we had to make Another difficult decision. Mm -hmm. We left our car and walked by foot to the border. So somewhere at seven in the morning we started to walk and by four or five PM we crossed the border and the situation was rather tense because mm -hmm. um we had to stop at every block post and um, wait for three, four hours, then to cross another kilometer. So we had to walk for three kilometers first, mm -hmm. then to stop and wait for two hours, then uh, walk another kilometer when the office, uh, when the officers let us go walk. And um, at the border, they were mostly women and children of different ages. So. Um, so how many stop points were there? No, for us there were like three stop points. Okay. Um, but at some point people got really nervous and were pushing, and um, it was at some points really dangerous. Mm. But when we crossed the border, um, the Polish volunteers they welcomed us in a refugee center. They fed us, there were volunteers who t took us to different places and there was a man um, who had previously lived in Ukraine, so uh, he was a, vo a volunteer, he took us all the way to Krakow for free. And that's how far it's, from the It's a three hour drive. Three hour drive. drive. So it's not a short, no. <laughs> a short drive. Interesting. Yeah. And, uh, there we met teachers from our school. So you mentioned that there were many uh, w wonderful things amidst this terrible journey. Can you mm -hmm. share some of those with us? Mm -hmm. I think it, though it was a difficult trip, I think it was a very blessed trip. Mm -hmm. If it were trip <laughs> is applicable, applicable. Um, because each time when we had to make a decision, God somehow influenced my heart and the heart of my friends or um, helped us like uh, to turn where we needed to turn, to mm -hmm. take the bad road. Like mm -hmm. we were crossing the border, um, at the place where we, they were not many people, but why they were not many people? Because the road to that crossing was extremely bad, just as if it was bombed. Mm. That's why people didn't want to take it. And we thought, okay, if people don't want to take it, then probably it's the fastest way to cross the border. And we took it and still we spent the whole day walking, standing in the a car line or sitting in the car. Uh, it wasn't easy, but it was only one day uh, in comparison with my friends who spent 65 hours uh, on the border crossing it uh, to Romania. 65 hours? Mm -hmm. 65 hours instead of two hours, which it takes usually a car to... Um, to go through those checkpoints. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Thank you, Nadia, for sharing mm -hmm. your story with us. I love seeing God's hand in the journey, even though it was difficult to see those little blessings along the way is, is encouraging to us. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome.